Hello, Derek Cancer. How are you today? Thanks for joining me. We are getting into your portal reading for the 222 portal. And I'm not quite sure why I was guided to do to jump to Libra after Gemini, but yesterday all I could think of was doing the reading for Libra. It was the only one that I did yesterday. So that was really interesting. It was an interesting reading. But anyway, here we are with you, Cancer, for today and for the 222 portal, which is connected to the new moon that we had on to 11, uh, 11 days from the portal on the 22nd and um, a really important activation and, and day for the collective. So, whoop, oh, we got a first card, eight of cups. Next card, three of cups. Oh, interesting. Oh, my goodness. Ever had those dropping days, days where you drop stuff? Having a little bit of one of those kinds of days. Okay. So, answer. We're going to get information that you need to know for the portal, uh, the wheel. Card number 10, <laughs> the wheel and the major arcana, very, oh, this is awesome. So two brand new cards for this entire set for this portal that I haven't seen in any of the other readings so far is three of cups and the wheel. Eight of cups has come up quite a bit. But here's another one. The Emperor. Emperor has been making a definite appearance. So we'll see what's, but it means different things, of course. There's our wheel. Beautiful. And then the Three of Cups. I love this card. It's so pretty. So, and then another one. Ten of Swords after your Emperor card. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Infinity and I'm a psychic, physical, empath, medical medium, channeler, um, regular medium, and uh, overall psychic, energy healer, distance energy healer. I work with clients all over the world. And I have a signature uh, I just fell. I have a signature program called the Evolve Now program for healing and ascension. The lovers. Awesome. Another card, I think. I don't know. The same lovers? I don't think so. Oh, they're popping. Four of Swords. Are we in reverse? Yes. So anyway, if you're into energy healing and or want to know more about it, I have a ton of information, ebooks, I have so much information on my website, a ton of services that I offer. And I invite you there, thehealingbutterfly.org. And our last card, nine of pentacles below the bumper and next to the four of swords. Good. Let's see here. So it's kind of, the way that these have been is like a, a past, present, and future sort of situation here with our readings. So let me just tune in here. Okay. So cancer. So what I'm seeing with this Eight of Cups is that we are definitely coming out of a, maybe a dark night of the soul situation, um, feeling like you really want to be more alone. Um, of course, we've had the pandemic. So of course, being in solitude has definitely been a thing, not being as social really going more inward um, and 
spending time, you know, really thinking and um, hopefully you've been also meditating or just going on walks, being with yourself. Um, even I'm hearing doing some energy work learning some stuff um, and then connecting with your spirit tribe, your angels. I'm really feeling big time. Um, at first I thought, oh, this is about like people coming into your life. And then it was like, nope, this is about you getting connected with your, especially your angelic, your guardian angel, um, most specifically possibly. Um, we all have a guardian angel, a spirit angel, and a miracle angel. But our, and then of course, I mean, all of the angels are, are part of our lives, but um, we have our three. So that's what I'm feeling with this. Like I'm feeling like you're really feeling your guides with you. So you can see it as these are your, these are your immediate angels. They come from the stars. And they're heavenly, they're divine light beings. That's what they are. And it's not just the three of them, but it's, it's more, it goes on and on and on. You can't see how, how far it goes out, but your connection with the divine and angelics is really, really strong. And I think you really come into feeling with them. So even though you've felt alone, been alone mostly, and you've realized that that's like really been what's necessary, you've not felt so alone. And then we have the wheel. So forward movement in a new in a new way, just really uh, I'm feeling with this, like really being motivated for healing. This is coming up big time. And knowing that you've kind of given pieces of yourself away, kind of put stock in people, relationships or situations that really didn't, were more dark, where maybe they were, you know, really narcissistic. I'm just feeling this darkness down here with this wheel and then, and then coming up out of it. So this wheels like representing to me right now, like I'm picking up on people or someone who's just like really taken themselves from a very dark place, gotten connected with their angels, been guided, probably guided to healers or healing place, people that could help you connect with your with the divine ones on the other side that's with us that we can tap into and then taking you to a place where you can start really tapping in and um, healing. And really starting to trust your own energy, your empathic ways. I feel that um, really seeing the light and the dark in, in people and being able to probably just start deciphering better because you've been healing. So you can feel your energy better. And with the emperor, it feels like this is a twofold kind of thing here with the emperor, like this person, this energy is is a block, and also at the same time you're leveling up with your guidance and who you're tapping into. So, so I'm feeling um, big time uh, Archangel Michael with this. So. You're definitely a light worker. You're probably an earth angel or a star seed. Um, I'm not feeling fey. I'm feeling more earth angels, to be honest with you. Uh, earth angels can also feel like a star seed. And 
I'm an earth angel, but at first I thought I was a star seed because earth angels have incarnated on different systems. So technically they're also star seeds. So it can be a little bit confusing there when you're first trying to figure out what's all going on. So twofold, I feel this represents a block. Sorry for the glare. This represents a block. Um, a person in your past, a relationship, it could be, I'm feeling more of a romantic, like a dot more of a dominant romantic connection. Maybe he was older than you. Uh, so somebody that really kind of shaped you in, a, in the way that you developed. So it could be a father figure, an uncle, a mentor, a teacher, but it, I'm, I'm feeling kind of it being more of a, of a fatherly romantic situation where they were like your senior kind of person. And that that's no longer in your life or you're really seeing them as somebody to get out of your life. So one, one way or another there, and then, and then it's really interesting how we have the, the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Cups, right, stacked. So that's something to take note of. Placement, how things kind of corner up here. This is how I do my readings. I don't typically ever follow it as a regular spread. I'm just told to do things a certain way. I'm very much a go as guided kind of gal. Anyway, with this Ten of Swords, it just, I'm seeing a few things. We, we, there are things we need to get past, need to release, need to let go of, cutting cords of. So that's been a major theme in pretty much every single one of our readings. And and I'm also seeing this again, this comes through to me, like you're just connecting more with your guides. Like they're with you, they're guiding you. It's like, follow us. And you're like, okay, but you're not totally looking at them. You're very, very intuitive and you're maybe not, you know, having direct conversations and really astrally projecting just yet. Maybe you are, maybe you are, but it's more kind of like, <clears throat> you're very intuitive you're being guided remember you're like you you know have connected with your and with your angelic brothers and sisters and just the angelic realm i feel is really um well hold up <clears throat> i'm also feeling i'm also getting this could be your present right now whoopsie this could be your present right now actually and you're just coming out of this so you're this so this is we're just starting with your present here we're not like over here so everything that i said could be on the way so they're saying i tend to see things more in the, it's just kind of the way that i roll i kind of tend sometimes to see things in the present when it's still the future <laughs> and i see it as the present so it could be that this is you're like no this hasn't happened and i'm like okay so I'm hearing now, it's like, wait, roll it back. This could also be for people who are just coming out of their dark night, really starting to get into, um, you know, more, greater, deeper connection. And this is really what the portal is going to bring you, that divine union. That is what the 222 portal is. It is connected to um, uh, the... The 1111 gate because the twos are ones put together making a two and so we are the pillars of creation incarnate and it all ties into the ones and the twos so so if that didn't resonate for you that this has already happened then you're on your way to this so I would, you know, pay attention to number numbers coming on um, synchronicities, uh, stuff like that, and just start talking with your angelics. 
and and think about this person who this person is if you've already if you have already left them there's still the matter of cutting cords because i'm seeing see this right here the, oh, the glare is driving me nuts see this right here that's an energy cord and the way that it's showing me is that this person's no longer around but there's still energy tied to him and and so let's go with that theme that they're gone if they're not gone they got to get gone and but i think that there it feels to me more like this is a past situation um you know and it could even be like several years removed that this was an, an influencer in your life but there's still connection. They're still, they're so, he was so prevalent. And you could be a female or a man. And, and I guess this person can be a, a divine masculine, all I'm really feeling, man. It could be a, a female that's a masculine, that's a more masculine female or taps more in with that, you know, that masculine energy. So anyway, there's that, the need to um, connect, you know, the, just connecting more, being guided more is going to be happening. And with the lovers, here with the lovers, let's take a look. This is about you balancing your divine feminine and your divine masculine. This isn't about you and somebody else, a relationship, because in the immediate future, and that's kind of what this reading is about, it's about this portal, what it's gonna bring, what you're working on, what you need to do to prepare for the portal. That's why it's coming out, you know, several days, they're coming out as fast as I can, several days before the portal. But this is about balancing out that feminine and that masculine. And I feel like it's more like the divine masculine energies have kind of dominated the divine feminine. So there's a lot about femininity and nurturing and caring for yourself first, aside from others, but that masculine needs and mask, oh my goodness, all of that had to kind of take, take over. So, so really thinking and start thinking now, what does that mean? The divine masculine, the divine feminine, and how does that play a part in my life? And and how do I um, continue or work on, on that, on healing and restoring balance? As you see, there's, they're out of balance here. I mean, males are usually taller than females, not always, of course, but what I'm picking up on here is the need for her to rise and she's holding on to, she's holding on to him. And now, and the energy that I'm getting more is, is like, her taking control, the divine feminine aspect within you um, taking control. And you really going on the journey, being led in a way to balance out these energies within you. Um, I can let you know that just in these last few days, I've put out a series of meditations uh, on my podcast on YouTube that are uh, really meant to be done before the portal, starting with a new moon and healing the inner child and um, relationship and integrating the inner child in with you, taking responsibility as a parent for your inner child is a great way to start balancing out the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Uh, because I feel like that is really what needs to happen here, Cancer. <clears throat> and then to spend time cocooned safely without getting your 
your business, your heart, your energy wrapped up in anybody else, it's all about you. And it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Um, you're connecting with spirit. You're in astral. You're in meditation. You're in deep healing. You're maybe doing deep healing, working with some somebody that's really, really um, going to ground you and connect you with Gaia, connect you with your angelics. If that's me, fantastic. But please follow your guidance to this kind of healing because it's so beautiful. So I want you to see this picture as something to look forward to. Be safe and and having your heart protected here with you, being in this beautiful nest. And just see it as, you know, the mother bird looking down on the baby bird and being like, I'm here and I'm taking care of you. You're seen, you're gonna be healed. You're gonna be a brand new person with brand new energy. It's gonna be and feel utterly amazing. It's gonna just take a little bit of time. So be patient and allow for that to happen. And then look at, ta-da, nine of pentacles, light worker with the nine and the owl. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling some serious earth angel energy here. And you being guided by the, um, no, owls are, are my, are my, one of my spirit, like my closest uh, is the owl. So very much representing that earth angel energy, that seeing from a higher perspective, that old infinite wisdom, um, having had so many lifetimes that you can pull down and have, and, and, your, and your owls, your, your guides saying, let's go here, let's go here. And you're like, and you're, and you're just following and you're going. And this also stands for, for all the different um, things you'll be doing with your gifts and the different souls you'll be connecting to and to again as an earth angel doing your work as a light worker. Um, and yeah, that is beautiful. <laughs> I love this reading. It's, it's a beautiful, hopeful, spiritual, connecting um, and I'm feeling Michael again here, big time, like I kind of focused a lot on this person that you're leaving or need to leave or left, <laughs> but Michael's like, yo, over here, let's talk about me, um, and me helping you and guiding you. Archangel Michael, uh, coming through with this emperor card, really helping balance out energies. He does protect you so you can feel like super strong, super empowered, super supported, um, confident, so, um, having direction, having motivation, all those kinds of things is, is very much Michael energy. Um, so there you go with that. Very good. Okay, moving on. Next, we're going to get into the moonology. Now I'm going to tell you right off the bat, we've had a couple of cards, one in particular that's come up in every single reading. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see if that, <laughs> uh, but I am just for shiggles here, going to light up my Sage and Palo Santo and clear them once again. I always do this in between every reading. So great way to clear cards is to, I mean, they're going to, you're going to need to shuffle them as many times as you need to shuffle them, but this clears the energy of the influence of the current, of the past reading and of your, your energy. So it's just. Yeah. You are with what we're supposed to get. So there we go. Let's get to it here. So they'll either pop or I'll see one to pull. It's usually the way that I work it. And here we go. That is one of the cards. Look, look at the bigger pictures. Uh, full moon in Sagittarius. 
this isn't the one that's shown up in everyone, but this has shown up a lot. Look at the bigger picture. So satellite out, take yourself from the, to this higher perspective. And as an earth angel, as a star seed, as an incarnate, as a fae incarnate, you, you have the ability to do that. Next card. Have faith in your dreams. I love it. This one's come up a lot as well. I'm hearing to also take another card. So it's been either two or three of the moonology. Have faith in your dreams because this is happening. So have faith that this is your, you're like, I want, I want, I know that I have deeper meaning. I know that I'm here, you know, to, to have a bigger purpose and it's been hard. It's definitely been hard. Like I feel that intensely. It's been difficult. Time to breathe out. Nope, we did not get that cold in this meeting. Interesting. Take time to breathe out. Be patient. Disseminating moon. Again, patience. Take time to breathe out. Patience. Um, beautiful. You have different stages here of the moon. Look at it from a bigger, uh, look at the bigger picture. So I, it's like what I call satelliting out, going up higher with your perspective, seeing the, not just where you're at, but all higher. So you can look down at, at the situation, but faith in your dreams. Um, you will fulfill your destiny. You will fulfill your destiny. Have faith in your dreams. You are being guided. Things sometimes, you know, we have, we're connected to a lot, of, especially earth angels. Like we're here to help humanity. So we have, there's a certain pace that we have to go at to be in alignment. And again, patience, take time to breathe out. I love it. I love it. And it's really interesting. We did not get that part. And I feel like you're just, you don't need, you don't, you didn't need that card. That card was, was nothing will come of this situation. It's to say, you really got to get on board with doing some healing and clearing and cutting cords and getting, you know, not, not being resistant about this. Like nothing else is going to happen until you do this. So it's that serious. Um, and with this reading here, it's more like, you're, you're not going to be resistant. If you're like, oh, I got to cut cords. All right, I'm going to cut cords. Oh, I need to do energy healing. I'm going to do energy healing. Oh, I need to meditate. I'm going to do that meditation. Like you're just going to not be very resistant to, you know, maybe you were in the past, but you've gotten to a point cancer where um, you're just like ready. <laughs> That's awesome. The mirror, other lives, past lives, dimensional lives. Yeah, definitely. This card is very intense, super powerful. Let's get right into it. Card number 37. The mirror. Other lives, past lives, dimensional lives, pages 108 and 109. We are the many born who move through time and space beyond the lines drawn by men. We dance upon the web of connection and circle around thousand upon thousand upon thousand thousands of times. You have been star and stone, flower and bark, deer and dancer, priestess and servant girl, wizard and serf. We move through forms, friend, not simply those of the human, but those of the element. And when we turn and face all of who we have been, we can awaken little by little each piece of wisdom until we are whole and entered fully into this life to share what we were brought here to do. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Look at it. Oh, I love it so much. I love this part. 
you are now at this point of realization, starting into staring into the mirror. It is as if each memory can find its way to the surface of your skin and you can connect with the multitudes who dwell within us. Your identity will not shatter. You will not fragment. Instead, you will become more whole, more complete, more present than, than ever before. Let yourself know the truth. You are earth and air and water and fire. You are priestess and poet, slave and revolutionary. You are experiencing the spectrum of events through lifetimes in this one life. And you can now understand any vows or connections, relationships or compulsions as they were formed within other times. It is now time to assess which you can release yourself from and which must be honored and respected and nurtured this lifetime. Many born one, your other lives are here in the hidden world waiting for you to remember. Stare into the mirror and see all of who you are. Illumination, I am a dimensional being who has lived thousands of lives, all with their wisdom and lessons to teach. What? Oh my goodness, that got me emotional. <laughs> this deck usually does. So, answer. You're definitely super high, super really feeling like, yeah, you have this, you know, old soul, had these many lives. Like I said here, reconnecting with that. That's what I see here. Um, and you're definitely at this place to be guided by the wisdom and the knowledge and to remember because that's what awakening is about it's not about learning so much as it's about remembering i rise i release i receive i rise i remember i rise so the four r's i release i receive i remember i rise so as you awaken, you remember. And as you will remember, you rise from awakening. And it's just this process. That's what that's about. Oh, goodness gracious. This was awesome. This was awesome. So I really hope this has motivated you, Cancer, and whoever else that this may resonate with that's drawn to this, um, this reading here today, whether it's your moon, your sun, or your ascending sign, Cancer. Um, you're coming into this place where you're being really influenced by your guidance. You're doing the work, have faith in your dreams, be patient with the process. Please visit these last um, healing meditations that we did. It was healing the money, wound and abundance. It was loving the body and connecting with your, your angel, your guardian angel. It was, um, then reintegrating with your inner child. So all of that is our layers that we work on healing so we can uh, remember and feel more in ourselves what, what we need um, going forward. All right, thank you so much, Cancer, for being here. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tell me what you think of this reading and if it resonates with you and I will see you next time. Peace out guys. Bye.